In about three months, retailers will once again be able to sell flavored tobacco products in communities that have banned them. That's because of another veto override by the Ohio Senate today. Governor DeWine wanted cities and towns to be able to make their own decisions about banning flavored tobacco, but state lawmakers say that would hurt small businesses. NBC 4's Eric Halpern has more on what the override means for the city of Columbus. The city of Columbus has a ban on the sale of flavored tobacco products. The override means, as of now, those products can be back on the shelves in about 90 days. Some are happy about that, others are not. The sale of flavored tobacco products has been prohibited in Columbus since the start of the new year. With a vote in the Senate Wednesday, state lawmakers decided a ban like that is not allowed. I think it's just putting us at an unnecessary risk. Undergraduate student Frankie Madoski is disappointed by the lawmakers move. She's worked with the coalition to end tobacco targeting and is less than a year out of high school. Every day. I mean, there's I go in the bathrooms, there's people vaping in my high school, even in college. Every party you go to, there is some sort of flavored tobacco. But some say the decision is the right call. Vape shop owners have described the flavored tobacco ban as an unfair attack on small businesses. Our customers even said like they could go over to Westerville and just get a vape. So like, yes, it's hard to say like to hear a customer say I could just go over here and buy that. And it's like, well, there's nothing we can do about that. They're hopeful when the override takes effect in about three months, more business will return. Well, a lot of stores have to close down. Small businesses who only do vapes have to close down. In part of a statement, Columbus Public Health says Wednesday's decision will negatively impact the health of youth and people of color who have been unfairly targeted by big tobacco companies for decades. It goes on to say it will work with City Attorney Zach Klein on what to do next. Klein says he plans to file a lawsuit. I'm honestly hoping that it kind of goes in reverse. We find something to oppose what's already occurring. I mean, this is a huge problem and we're realizing it's a huge problem. Some other central Ohio communities also have flavored tobacco bans in place. You can read about how they are responding to today's override on our website, NBC4i.com. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4. Well, today's veto override comes on the same day a new report gave Ohio a failing grade for tobacco control policies. The American Lung Association released its annual State of Tobacco Control report. Ohio received three Fs for state funding for tobacco prevention programs, tobacco taxes, and ending the sale of all flavored tobacco products. The state did receive two passing grades, a C and access to smoking cessation services, and an A for the strength of smoke-free workplace laws.